Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Tonight I'm making chocolate orange almond cookies. So, 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 so yummy, so, so easy, even a chipmunk could do it. So, let's turn the voice into a chipmunk. Right here then, so the list of ingredients is as follows. Just get a long look at that and hit pause. If you want to have a quick glance, they are all there. The first thing you want to do, is get ourselves a bowl and our sugar, orange peel and butter. I'm going to plonk it all in there and I'll blend it all together, okay? Whoa, that's called creaming. Yeah. Right here, so let's grab our sugar, pour that in there. Groovy. Our orange peel, Let's see if it's shaking. Wicked, straight in there. Ooh. Don't worry about that bit, that's okay, yeah? Right, now I'm just going to grab our butter. Cha ching. Straight in there like that. Give it a good, good stir around. Let's cream it, yeah. Okay, so about halfway through there, the butter was slightly too hard to be honest, so wait till it gets to room temperature and it will stir a lot easier. So uh, keep stirring until it's fully creamed. Whoa! Right here, so that's all creamed together. What I'm going to do is grab my egg and pour that in, like so, and also a drop of vanilla essence. Boop, like that, and stir it through again. I'm going to need two hands, one, well, two hands, yeah, let's go. Okay, brilliant, that's all stirred through, and what I've got here is my almonds. I'm going to pour those in, groovy, a shot of orange juice, that's straight from the orange that I zested earlier. Ching. And also, I'm going to get my flour and scatter that in too. Do, 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 do. What we've got to do is start to fold that all in together. So, I'm just going to sort of just work it all around the bowl like that, okay? Until it's all fully bonded together. Do you get me? Cool. So, uh, keep doing that. Cool. Right here then, guys, so I've finished mixing that all together and we are left with a really, really funky dough mixture. Check that out. Really orangey too. What I've got here is my baking tray all greased. My oven preheated, obviously. I'm going to get my spoon and just dabble bits on there. Little circular ones, probably. In fact, I've got so much mixture left, I'm going to get a few more trays as well. So, uh, let's spoon the mixture on to the trays. Wicked. Right here then, guys. So, I finished putting those on the tray. And there we go. Cool. And there we go, too. Ready to go in the oven. I've also got a gigantic cake, which I made. So, so much left over. So, if you're thinking of only making a couple of cookies, reduce down the mixture, okay? So, let's plonk those in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Keep watching them, maybe turn them too, and then we'll make our chocolate and orangey sauce to dip it in right at the end a little bit later. So I'll see you very soon. Right guys, that has been 17 minutes, got them out of the oven, and that is how they're looking like my friends. They were on a wire tray cooling down for a further 10 minutes, and I've just plonked them on the chopping board. What I've done is grabbed my chocolate there and broken it up. I'm going to plonk that in the microwave now and just start to heat that on little bursts. And what we'll do, once it's melted, after I keep stirring it, is chuck in a little bit of our orange flavouring and then we're going to dip the cookies in at the end. So we get half chocolate, half cookie. So uh, let's melt the chocolate. Yeah. Right, so the chocolate's melted and out of the microwave. And here we are. Cha-ching, nice and smooth, cool. Right, let's get the orange flavouring. Drop that in there. Stir that through. Once that's all in there and you're feeling good, what we're going to do is gradually get our cookies, dip them in half by half, plonk them on a plate. This could get messy, but be sensible and you'll love it. Whoa. Okay, then guys, so they're all on there. This plate's a little bit messy, there's a blob of chocolate there. All I did was grab one, dipped it in the chocolate, straight back out. Kind of looks a little bit like acorns. I don't know, maybe. You might have some chocolate left over. You can do this very cool thing where you go like this, basically. Okay. It's cool. Like this. And that is amazing. So, let those set, let the chocolate go around there, even plonk them in the fridge if you want to speed it up, and then put it in your belly. So, uh, why don't we do that? Cool. Right here then, guys, here they are, all nice and chilled on the plate. I've got to pick one up, have a go, see what it tastes like. I can't wait any longer. Let's go for it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. No, really, really good. Wow. Mmm. They are amazing. Wow. How quick was that to make that? I 
I don't know, like half an hour in total. So if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. That was so, so, so easy. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on and I'll see you again on the next video. Chipmunk-tastic. High five!